Hey everyone, welcome back to Coded Row. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to download Kitbash's launcher called Cargo. You can import free graphics and models into your Unreal Engine project, Unity, Maya, Blender, and many more. So if you head over to kitbash3d.com, you'll just have to create an account. And then on the top right, click on this download Cargo button. And I'll just download it for Windows. I'll save this onto my desktop. And once it's done installing and you extract it, you'll see this Kitbash Cargo app. Go ahead and select yes. And then I'll just save it into my C drive. And then I'll run Cargo by Kitbash. And now go ahead and log in. And now once logged in, you can see there they have different plans. And you, I can just head over to Models, change access to free. And you'll see their free models displayed. And you can just go ahead and download whichever by selecting any and clicking Download. It's going to initialize and give you a little progress bar. And I'll just import the large casual entrance into an Unreal Engine project. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my Unreal Engine. And I'll just go ahead and start a third person blank project and hit create just to get ready to import. And now with your project open, you're just going to go to edit and plugins and make sure cargo is enabled. And mine's already enabled so that once it's enabled and you restart your project, you'll see this icon here that you can connect to cargo. And once that's lit up, I'm able to import my models from cargo into my game. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and create a blank basic map pro and then I'll delete the land here. And then for this large castle entrance, I'm gonna click import and it's automatically just gonna load it into this project and import it. And once it's done importing, it's actually automatically gonna place the mesh into my map right at the center. And now once it's done importing, you'll see that the mesh from Kitbash Cargo is imported, ready to be used with the appropriate texture. So I imported it with 2K resolution JPEG texture. You can also select PNG. Uh, they do get a little costly as you go up in resolution. But if you are doing something realistic or cinematic with it, it's probably better to use the higher texture one. And yeah, amazing looking map. And that's pretty much how you set up Kitbash pretty easily. Thanks for watching Code of the Row. Like, subscribe, comment what you want to see next. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.